Could you ever imagine that the grapes you relish today, or the cannabis plant, which is a subject of so many conversations, have such profound historical and genetic roots? This journey of discovery takes us back thousands of years and traverses continents, revealing the fascinating history of domestication and the evolution of various species. Once upon a time, around 11,000 years ago, the first fruit to be domesticated by humans was probably the grapevine. This event, as confirmed by an international collaboration of scientists, occurred simultaneously in two separate regions, namely the Levant and the South Caucasus. The modern grape varieties we enjoy today originated from an ancient wild grape that existed across Eurasia and North Africa. Through hybridization with wild grapevines, these domesticated grapevines were enhanced for wine production. This domestication played a significant role in the development of civilization and the global trade of goods. Around the same time, but a thousand years earlier, our ancestors were also cultivating another plant, cannabis. A recent study suggests that cannabis may have originated in northwestern China during the Neolithic period. After its domestication, cannabis spread to Europe, the Middle East, India, Africa, Latin America, and North America. Cannabis plants with higher levels of psychoactive compounds were likely recognized and used by humans in ancient times, with the earliest clear evidence found in a 2,500-year-old tomb in western China. Meanwhile, in the Americas, new research suggests that indigenous populations in the Andes Mountains adapted to tuberculosis thousands of years before Europeans arrived. This adaptation occurred around 3,000 years ago, coinciding with the development of agriculture and the increase in population density. This challenges the previous belief that Europeans introduced tuberculosis to the Americas 500 years ago. Simultaneously, the journey of Neolithic genomes from Anatolia reveals that the I2C lineage was already present in northwestern Turkey 8,500 years ago and was assimilated by Neolithic farmers on their way from the Fertile Crescent to Europe. The highest concentration of I2 or I2 a genome today is in Bosnia and Herzegovina, 50%, Croatia, 37%, Serbia, 34%, Montenegro, 29%, Romania, 28%, Macedonia, 23%, Slovenia, 20%, and Bulgaria, 20%. The I2 genome is also present in Albania, 12%, Greece, 9.6%, and Kosovo, 2.5%. Subsequent studies revealed that all Mesolithic European lineages became absorbed by the wave of Neolithic farmers. Yet, I2A, which is most common in the Balkans, stood out as the most common among them, amounting to 16% of the 69 Neolithic Y-DNA samples tested making it the second most common paternal lineage after G2A, the original lineage of Anatolian farmers. In conclusion, these intriguing discoveries shed light on the origins of some of the most common and controversial plants in our lives today and challenge previous beliefs about the spread of diseases like tuberculosis. They also provide a fascinating insight into the genetic history of Neolithic humans. The journey of discovery is far from over. And as we delve deeper into our past, we continue to unravel the complex web of our shared history.